guys, welcome back to my channel and please excuse my hair in this video. It's doing some crazy stuff right now. I don't, it can't be tamed. Anyways, today I have a collab video that I'm very excited to bring you guys. This is a collab with a very beautiful girl named Jackie O. I will put her link down in the description bar and her channel link and everything like that so you guys can check her out. Today we decided to do our top 10 summer essentials. Now I was actually requested to do this so I kind of killed two birds with one stone. And I just picked my top 10 products and I ended up going with mostly makeup. Makeup, um, one hair care thing. I didn't want to do any clothes or anything just because you guys might not be able to get them where you live. I picked 10 things and I'm very excited to share them with you guys so let's get started. The first thing on my list and this is like my new savior is the Batiste Dry Shampoo and this is the Fresh Scent, the Cool and Crisp Fresh and I love this. I think it smells really nice. They have a lot of different scents but I just prefer this one. It's like very just clean smelling. It doesn't smell too intense. A lot of them are just really kind of floral and I don't really like that so much. Before this, I was using a suave dry shampoo and it worked alright, but this stuff is seriously magic. It just soaks up all my oil and it's really easy to distribute through your hair and it leaves it just looking so nice. It's just a really nice product to use, especially in the summer because we get very oily and sweaty a little bit more than in the winter, so I would definitely recommend this. If you guys are looking for a dry shampoo, pick this up. I think it's only about 7 to $10 probably depending on where you live and I got mine at Ulta. My number two summer essential is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous Foundation. I am in the shade 805, which I believe is the lightest. I don't wear this all the time. This is kind of like, not a special occasion foundation, but it is pretty full coverage. But I find that it gives you a great finish when you are going to be out in the elements. It just stays on really nice and it keeps your skin very matte. However, you can also apply this very sheer. If you use less product, you can just build it up and build the coverage up to, you know, what you want. You can use this and just, you know, put like a pump for your whole face. And I just find that I really like that because sometimes I don't want to go for a full coverage look. And this will give me a very nice finish still if I only use a little bit of product. My third summer essential is the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray and I'm wearing this on my face today. I find that it doesn't make me look so much dewy as it just makes my skin look very natural. I like to use it in conjunction with this foundation because this can sometimes get a little cakey on me and sometimes it just kind of builds up and it looks like I have foundation on and this just kind of tones it down. Like I said this doesn't make my skin as much dewy as it does very natural looking almost like if you wash your face and your face is kind of like squeaky clean and shiny looking. If that makes sense that sounds like a really weird analogy but to me that's what this makes me look like just like I have very fresh skin and it's just very nice and healthy looking my next summer essential is a mascara and this is the benefit they're real the main thing I like about this mascara is that it is very sweat proof and waterproof I don't think it's actually marketed as a waterproof foundation but I have such a hard time getting this off <laughs> I can be sweating all day and for me this stuff just does not come off and that's really good you know especially in the summer when you are planning to have your makeup on, you know, maybe for a long period of time, this is just a really great staple. My next summer essential is the Urban Decay Complexion Primer Potion, and this is the Pore Perfecting version. I love this stuff. It makes my skin look very nice. I don't really know how to describe it because it doesn't give me so much of, you know, a matte finish or anything like that. It just smooths all my pores and it smooths all my little wrinkles and fine lines. It just makes my foundation go on a lot smoother. It doesn't make me look as cakey and it doesn't fill into my pores or anything, which is great. My next summer essential is something that I'm wearing today. I actually have a couple things on which I will mention, but this is the Sephora Collection Liquid Liner. This is number 13 and it's called Fancy Blue, which is pretty funny. This is on my eyes right now. I'll zoom in if you guys can't tell, but this is just such a nice summer color. For me, I really like wearing bright colors in the summer because, you know, it's summer. I really don't like to do crazy eyeshadow looks anymore, so experimenting with a fun liner is a really nice way to wear color. And for me, this stays on pretty well. I went to a concert a couple months ago with this on and it rained a bunch and this hardly transferred at all so I would definitely look into this it is a liquid liner so if you're not good with liquid liners you know keep that in mind but I love this color for summer my next favorite is something I'm also wearing this is the NARS blush and orgasm this is such a beautiful color here it is right now if you guys haven't seen it it's just a very nice kind of shimmery corally color and I like wearing this for the summer because it's very complimentary to my skin tone especially when I have a bit of bronzer on it just looks very nice and summery and peachy these blushes are also super amazing their pigmentation is great and their staying power is really nice too so if you are looking to kind of splurge on a very nice high-end blush I would recommend this one you're gonna get tons and tons of use out of it in the summer my next favorite is a MAC lipstick and this is also 
what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is the Prolenza Schooler collection that MAC did a couple months ago. This is in the shade Mangrove. And as you can see, it's a very nice orangey red. Now, I know that most people aren't going to be able to get this because it was limited edition and it was a couple months ago, so they probably don't have it anymore. But this color is really close. This is Wet n Wild 970 Purdy Persimmon. And this is the color. It's a bit more orange. I'll do a swatch for you guys. But for the most part, it is the same look. This is a matte lipstick, as is this. So the finish is very comparable, and the colors are pretty comparable, too. Another option is MAC Lady Danger, which I've heard is very similar to this lip. And MAC Morange is a much more orange color, but that would be a very pretty orange color to wear for the summer, too. I really like this lipstick, and this one as well. I wear this um, also, but I like them because they are matte. So I find that matte lips stay a little bit better on me in the summer. The the next summer essential that I have on my list is Revlon Lip Butters. Um, I picked this one in particular, however I have a lot of shades that I really do enjoy wearing in the summer. This shade is 10 Raspberry Pi, and I love this because it is very, very intense. Some of them are much more buildable. This one is pretty full color when you swatch it initially. But this is just a very pretty kind of raspberry color. It reminds me a lot of just bright, fun lips for summer. I also really enjoy these formulas. I find that they're really good. If you goof up a little bit, you can just quickly fix it and they feel very nice and hydrating on the lips. So for my final summer essential, these are some really great polishes I picked up a little while ago from Maybelline. Shade names I have here are Lime Accents, Coral Heat, and then the last one I have is Ultraviolet. And I just love these colors. I have coral heat on my nails right now. They are a little chippy, so don't mind that. Now these are limited edition, but I did want to share them with you guys because they are being marketed as a summer collection. So I'm pretty sure that you can still find them in most drugstores. I would check Walgreens because that's where I got mine. But I love these colors for summer, especially that green. I think it's just such a funky color. Summer is the right time to wear crazy nails because it looks nice with a tan. And you know, summer is just a good time for experimenting with colors. So that is it, guys. Those are my 10 summer essentials and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Jackie's video and I will put her link in the description bar like I said before. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, if you have any questions about any of the products, please leave them in the comments and if you have any comments to say, leave them down there as well. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a how-to video, kind of a talking style video, and this is how to survive a music festival. As always, with all my talking videos, I have all of my